My name is Brian Velasquez. I'm Officer Paul Weiss. I'm a police officer with the Metropolitan Police Department. They're all very dramatic scenes, but the one that really sticks out, there was a person that was sitting behind the wheel, and as we got closer, you could see that there was an individual with his head back, jaw wide open, who looked like from the outside that he was dead. When we deployed Narcan, within two minutes, he was conscious. I think had it been a few more minutes since that we found him, there's a good chance he may have been dead. You know, we see people who are under the influence who are going through that at the lowest point of their life. And we are able to provide them almost a second life. The drugs are often laced. Um, you know, we have a fentanyl issue. But oftentimes when they, when they do come back to it, they're in a state of shock. Um, and uh, oftentimes they're thankful. Being, being able to train the, the public on how to use it will ultimately save tons of more lives here in DC. Place it in the nostril and just release it. It's straightforward. All different backgrounds, all different backgrounds, all different types of people are, are victims of drug use. They're men, women, black, white, Hispanic. It's, it's non-discriminatory. It doesn't discriminate. It's, it's everyone. And again, it isn't just happening in D.C. We've got some insight into the problem in Prince George's County. According to the Maryland Department of Health, 120 people died from fentanyl. From January of 2021 through September of 2021, the county is fighting back by frequently offering public training sessions on how to use those Narcan kits.